Hey everybody, welcome to Dungeons and Drams. So, um, I am your Dungeon Master, Bill, and this is a live stream where we play Dungeons and Dragons with some of your favorite whiskey tubers. So, let's uh, switch things up a little bit. Last time I believe I started with Novelist. Typically I start with Anomio. Uh, so this time, Jason, why don't you lead, lead us off? What's going on everybody? I'm Jason C. from the Mash and Drum. I play as the dark, the mysterious Alessio Morte. Uh, yeah, you guys can uh, catch me on my channel uh, each and every week, uh, Wednesday nights on my live streams, and I do about two to three videos a week. So excited uh, to be here and see what what uh, what what's what's next for our for our crew. And a special shout out to my brother in rapier, Agnomio. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. There's something about uh, rapier bros that sounds uh, vaguely. I know. I keep, I keep <laughs> just being like, yeah, careful. Yeah. Careful with your enunciation with that one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. I have, you have to say rapiers in full because hopefully, right. hopefully yes. people yeah. know that's a weapon. It doesn't mean anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, no, it's not a competition between who can be more than the other. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> <laughs> that's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> and now for for our second most interesting person on the stream uh so daffy she <laughs> no, she's uh she's off tonight she tonight's her birthday so she's out celebrating uh she does enjoy a drink both on and off stream uh so she's having a good time all right so happy birthday, uh, daffy. Happy birthday yes yes happy sure birthday daffy <laughs> yes daffy, i've got my birthday I've got my Star Wars mug tonight filled with beer. I'm not drinking ah. whiskey because I've I'm already a few in the in the bag. So, all right. So Ed, ta yes. talk to us. Who are you and what do you do? I'm a guy. Um, oh no way! I, I exist, and sometimes I drink, but also more importantly, I play Anomio, Anomio Vanderas, also known as Noro. Uh, and you can find me on the Rock Gut Review occasionally. <laughs> not recently not recently but that will there are reasons for that and though they will oh. be shortly revealed oh for sure wow. um novelist since i guess you're left i guess i'm the least interesting <laughs> man in the room here uh, comes thunder nipples <laughs> <laughs> what's up guys my name is clifton uh my channel is bourbon bites uh, where i do whiskey reviews with a gaming twist i go live every thursday eve th thursday oh god my south carolinian is going out every thursday <laughs> evening um at 7 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Eastern. Um, I also do a podcast every Friday um, where I go over some whiskey and video gaming news. Always have fun with that. But tonight I am playing, or I am, sorry, Novelist. I am a half-elf warlock. I have magical nipples, as as you hear, that, that, <laughs> that shoot some incredible, incredible rays of, of, of pew-pews. <laughs> rays of pew-pews. I will say, as uh, so... Um, Clifton's podcast is quickly becoming one of those. You, you guys all know your podcast, right? You have the ones that like you listen to as soon as they are released, and then you have the ones that are kind of on backup when you run out. So Nobles is moving up my line. You're, you're number four right now. Awesome. So, okay, I'll take yeah. it. I'll take it. Hey, not, I keep, it's I keep not it bad. Short. I've got. I will like say 20, that. Yeah. So that's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, I yeah, I try to keep 20. it short. I, I I limit it to you know under thirty minutes most of the time. I figured some people have shorter commutes, so that's kind of my target target length of that. So I mean, I do enjoy the longer ones, but I enjoy making them shorter. I bet you do. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Wow! Wow! Bill. Wow! Well, Sorry. Already. Just so Bill's everybody knows, the dungeon master had a few beers before tonight, so <laughs> oh, yeah. things <laughs> might get a little bit crazy tonight. Oh, and so, so, so did our rogue. <laughs> so, our ro our yes, rogue is and, uh, uh, Aless Alessio is definitely a few drams in. So yes, Alessio, Alessio might not be so mess might not be so hidden time. It might be a little messy. Yeah, Nobles needs to catch up. I'm drinking. <laughs> by the way, I'm drinking a uh, um, my take on a uh, uh, oh, crap. What's it? What's the derby drink? Uh, Mint julep. Mint julep. Yes. Yep. So yeah, actually, it's, Brown's it's recipe, Derby so. week. Cheers, everybody. It's it is. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm doing a Derby party on Saturday. That'll be super fun. That's right. I'm, Get your I'm big buying hats a out. Yeah. I'm no, a I'm going to get a giant, my... giant hat with a big feather. It's going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm buying a tuxedo for my dog because that's a thing that you do. <gasps> that's a <adorable>. dog. <laughs> and, and, and the stream just got 12% cuter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, could, I can improve it considerably. Oh, are we just... <laughs> oh, okay, I got you. I thought you were grabbing oh, the dog. Yeah, right. 
<laughs> all right, everybody. So now that we've gotten all of the uh, the the daily stuff out of the way, why don't we jump into tonight? So yes. When last we left our heroes, they had begun exploring the cave. Nobilis and Anomio dove under the water to see what was in the dark hidden passage. They rose into a room filled with subtle glowing purple lights. Nobilis stepped a little too close to a large glowing fungus, and tendrils erupted out of the ground and began attacking. Quickly, Nobilis slashed at it with his dagger, and he and Anomio retreated back into the water. Meanwhile, Daffy and Alessio found a hidden path behind some vines and moved into a dark room with a giant web covering a hole in the floor. Some careless footing caused the web to shake and dozens of little baby spiders the size of a hand to come and attack our intrepid adventurers. When the battle was over, the party was reunited and after investigating, spotted a backpack at the bottom of the pit. Ever daring, Anomio tied a rope to his waist and was lowered down to only to find a giant spider at the bottom of the pit. The rest of the party pulled him back up very slowly as Anomio, <laughs> sw- <laughs> as Anomio sw- <laughs> swung his sword and kicked his little legs. The spider was quickly dispatched. We rejoin our group, having just found a pair of boots and a healing potion at the bottom of the pit. So I ask you all, what would you like to do? Let's go ahead and bring Let's you back to the cave. Rejoin yes. the game. Where are we? Oh my God. We're, we're still here with these horrid, horrid spiders. Sorry, I forgot to preload this, so it's going to take a sec to load. There we go. We are with these horrid spiders. So, wait, that that big spider is dead. Mm-hmm. So, the, so the big spider, you guys are out of combat. So the big spider is dead. All of the little spiders are dead. And um, currently you are now uh, plus a pair of boots that you know nothing about, but suspect might be interesting oh uh, that's right we haven't gotten mean. uh we haven't gotten prince's uh boots yet right well no I think you did Daffy, you did get them had we them. did get them okay yeah so, we, we did so, get the boots yeah so currently i mean we'll just say anomio is still holding them at the moment okay. um now i will just say uh daffy at the moment's feeling a bit shaken she's she's quite afraid of spiders and she's decided that she's going to kind of hang back a little bit probably follow the party from a bit of a distance um so that's how we will handle her tonight. <laughs> I don't blame her. I, I don't know why oh. Noblis decided to move closer to the spiders. I'm going to. Well, you know what? I am. I know Daffy has loves boots, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna give these to her for safekeeping for the time being. Sounds good. Yeah, that's right. Das boot gets new boot. Yes. <laughs> yes. All, right. All right, guys. So, um, do we want to go back? Now, if I remember correctly, there was a part of the cave where we could head north. Well, we uh, need to yeah, go. Oh, yeah. Ed and I had discovered the the giant. Um, I forgot what it was, but something from the fungus came out and attacked us. So I think we need to. We could probably. There was those snakes with the mm-hmm. heads that we probably need to rub. So I think we should head back to. <laughs> <handle that. laughs> and if you rub it hard Do enough and for long enough, them? the little venom comes out. I gotta, I gotta drink more and catch up with you guys. I'm this, not on that this, I was gonna say, this This is going to be the tone of the night, so if you're do, not Do we really then... need to rub the snake heads? <laughs> I was gonna say, you're making a lot of assumptions about Or can things. we, can we just, do you want to check out? Let, let me, let me handle my snakes myself. <laughs> or, or do we want to go, do we want to go through the, the wall of vines here where there's clearly a way out? Ah, oh, I forget that was a yeah. Yes. Well, I mean, we can come this way. So, I, we we haven't told you yet because we got back up here and you were fighting a bajillion <laughs> spiders. Yeah. Um, but we found creepy funguses and a snake temple. So, you want to go? Uh, want to go check out a creepy snake temple with us? Or excuse yeah, me, I mean, do you want I mean, to go check what, out a creepy snake temple? What's more enticing than creepy snake temple? <laughs> we already beat one of them. We did one of them. We could do it again. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And, let's... and who knows? Maybe uh, maybe a twerk brand is down there twerking let's, away. Let's do. It. Let's go. Let's go see what uh, these other snake heads are about. Let's go, guys. Let's do it. All right. All right. So you you guys are heading back. We're heading back. Okay. Yep. Heading back, back through out. the through the little gate. All right. Over to the water. To the water. The deep, deep water. All right. All right. All right. So. I guess Alessio, you should follow us, for we have already swam through this passage. Yes. Follow me, and I jump in. <laughs> to, 
I do a little, I try to do a flip. Let's see. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see. Let's see if I do a flip. Uh, aha! <laughs> yes! Uh, yes! <laughs> <laughs> Not only do you do a flip, but you actually, you do a double flip somehow. Oh, you are, you're well, very sure. I surprise so, even myself sometimes. Should we all try to see how we, how we do on this? Of course you should. Okay. Nob Novelist wants, doesn't want to be outshone. So let me see. Let's see what he can do. Oh, not very good. Oh. Yeah, it's no, not awful. That's not bad. Yeah, like belly flops a little bit. Unless you, <laughs> you, guys, you, guys, you guys are level two. Getting, uh, getting, you know, anything really close to a ten is is pretty good on something like that. Now, I will say, uh, Sinobolus, you you go to uh, you're, you're flipping, correct? Um, I, I, I'm attempting to flip. Yes, <laughs> you're attempting. So, so you run up, you jump, you do your flip, and you notice you're about to come just a little bit shy. So you actually laser nipple yourself. Use the force from that to get you through the full flip. So uh, yeah, it's a little propulsion. Of course, yeah. of course. Alessio is very, very adept at athletics. So I'm expecting a good roll here. Oh, oh very good. <laughs> Not only do I do a double flip. But I also do a lovely swan dive with no after splash. <laughs> no. Yes. A perfect ten. Ten points all across the board. Yeah. Greg, awesome. Greg Luganus in his prime. <laughs> I have no idea who that is. I was nope. just gonna say I recognize the name, but I couldn't have told you he was a swimmer. All right. So uh, you guys, you guys jump into the water. Presumably, you are trying to swim to the other room, correct? Yes. All right, excellent. So as you dive down into the water, you see the body of the once fearsome owl there, at the at the bottom of the the pit here. Um, so you make your way over through the tunnel, and you all three of you pop up into this little grotto here. Uh, my rapier, bro rapier's brother, uh, <laughs> do not touch the the large purple funguses. They uh they do not appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, I want no, I want, I want, I want no part of that shit. <laughs> I wish you would have told me that the first time, Magnolia. <laughs> I thought, I thought it was, you know, uh, uh, how you say, uh, obvious. Uh, I just saw pretty purple colors, and I was like, ooh, what are those? <laughs> all right, so, all right, so, all right, so with can... that, with that knowledge, no matter how you guys move, I will assume that you are steering clear of the purple fungus. <laughs> so, yes. all right. So we make our way to the snake heads, which I assume are back here, right? They are back here. Oh my god, this is not okay. <laughs> yeah, you see, you see what we mean about the snake heads. <laughs> we'll resist rubbing them until you guys <laughs> until we come up with a oh better plan. This this area is way more vast than I thought it was. This is crazy. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So um all right, the dungeon master, gonna... school us. <laughs> so the ground descends steadily as you come into a cavernous room. Moss covers the floor, and you hear dripping coming from the overhead stalactites. Some hitting rock, others hitting more water. Um, so you guys do have a torch. So the light from your torch illuminates the room, and you see at the far end some bats hanging from the ceiling. And uh, you see a small green snake to your left moving north against the wall. That is right Ooh. up here. It's just a little guy. It's more... Just there. Oh, so you probably can't see. Like right oh, I see there. Him. <laughs> I see him. There he is. And mm -hmm. the the bats are right here. Uh, one there and one there. Well, uh, I would like to investigate these two large snake statues that sure. are coiled. All right, so, go ahead and roll let's... investigation. Okay. Ooh, so close to a 16. That's a nine. Okay. <laughs> I know. Mid don't you hate middling. don't you hate when you watch it roll past something awesome? So oh, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so very similar to the snake that you saw in the other room, although uh sands the glowing eyes. These are two snake statues coiled on top of pedestals. They're basically about three and a half, four feet off the ground. Um, they appear with a nine, they appear to be ornamental. Okay. All right, so there's nothing. I mean, because because the they're in front of a bridge, it looks like over the water. I feel like they're guarding the bridge in some sense. So, um, I would also like to investigate. Bill, can I do a roll? Uh, yeah. Go ahead. Okay. I'll. I'll. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, 
I find nothing apparently. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you uh you walk over and you're like, yeah, are those is that like a salamander or is that like a <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, this lizard doesn't have any legs. <laughs> right. <laughs> I think novelist, I think he wants to go look at the, the, the real snake in the room. Um All right. he wants to oh, okay. he wants to investigate it a little bit. All right, so you're gonna walk over to the, the snake? Um I, I, I a little I don't want to get too close to him, maybe just like right here. I mean you see a snake, he's coiled, he uh he appears to be kind of just He's wedged in between a little bit of moss in the ground. He he probably thinks he's well hidden. Okay, but he's watching us. He sees you, yes. Okay. Or senses you, I should say. Okay. Well, I am going to very bravely, but very tentatively, begin to cross the bridge. My brother and okay. rapier, I'm right <laughs> behind you. So I'm why don't back. <laughs> so why don't the two of you make a stealth roll for me? Okay. All right. Let's let's see what happens. Go here. Oh, I didn't do oh. too bad. I usually do Woo! Much worse. very wow. stealthy. All right, the two of you uh, cross. You you're able to get completely across the bridge, and you're keeping your eyes on those bats, and they don't seem to detect you at all. Okay. Okay. That is good. Remember to say what you guys roll. Oh yes, I, rolled I got a sixteen. A, yes, I rolled a twenty-five. Sure did. <laughs> sure did. <laughs> All right, now it looks like there's a little something. Oh wait, is this? Oh, this is a bat swarm. Okay, got it, got it. Correct. Yeah, so there's no way to do uh, the ceiling. So yeah. Thunder, thunder nips. You just hanging back? Um, no, I'm gonna come. I just want to make sure the bridge was safe to cross while you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, Let the idiots go first. So I'd, I'd like to make my way across. So I need to do a uh, stealth stealth roll. All right. Uh, yes. Okay. Yes, okay. you do. Uh oh. Oh, now okay, Ooh. not okay. There we are sixteen. So six, sixteen. Sixteen is pretty good. Uh, you for you sufficiently a, for make it. Such a large up. man for such a large man. He's very fleet of foot. <laughs> <laughs> so um, large, muscular individual. Let me just do something real quick. Uh, right, so for so for a uh, what did I try to say here? Um, you make it sufficiently across the bridge, no problem. Okay. Mm. Well. Shall we... that? I see a white grouping. That's of... the bats. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I was confused too. That's the yeah. group of bats. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. So right. uh, actually, I don't think I have a good way to make you guys be able to see the name, so it doesn't really matter. But those are those are the bats. All right. So it looks like we can investigate either uh, to the left of us or to the right of us. The right looks like another path to more into the cave. The left, I'm not really sure. Uh, I'm not seeing. Yeah, there's something blocking us. So I'm going to come around here and just take a. Oh, there's there's more bats. Oh, yeah. there more are... bats. There's okay. really nothing going on in that top yeah, area. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's like, it's like grayed out. Like... So yeah. so to your left, there, there's basically a gigantic boulder. Ah, it's, oh, okay. it's not coming across well in the map, but there, there's a big, yeah. big, big boulder that's that was blocking your view of the other swarm of bats. So maybe we right. should uh, work our way down here to this uh, this curvy corridor. I agree. And that's work our way down. Looks like down uh, down the cave here. So I'd like you guys to make. Hold on one sec. I'd like you to both to okay. all, right, all three of you to make one more stealth roll, please. Sure. Oh, here we go. Come on, come on, come on. What do we got? Nice. 18. Oh, no. A five. Ooh, and five. an 18. Yep. Nobilis wow, has so a 21. Not... Yes. Oh, yeah. So so you rolled. It. Yeah. So Nobilis has 21. Anomio has a five. And Alessio has an 18. My so other Anom roll. My other roll was a 20. <laughs> <laughs> so so uh, you know what? Let me give you advantage on that because your other roll was a 20. Let's let's try you one more no. time. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> no, you, you, make, you, make a, you make a good point. This is uh, uh it just, is a I different was just specific but... event. Oh, sorry, I was saying advantage from the other one. So I, I'm going to take oh, your five I in see. this case. That, that's fine. I'm taking your lowest roll. Cool. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so as you guys <laughs> walk through the moss, um, so you okay. do not alert the bats. However, there uh -oh. is something funky about this moss here. Oh and God. Up from the moss, you see these two canine-like bodies start to rise. Oh, and, oh, Jesus, Lord. 
Is there more of these <laughs> moss nettle people? What were they? Thistle, thistle, so, blights. grimy something? So yeah, the, there we yeah, go. There were needle blights, uh, other, other kinds of blights. But these are something else that you, you don't recognize. Um, they Ooh. appear to be dog-like, and they are quite angry at you. Um, so I'd like both all, uh, sorry, all three of you to roll initiative. Okay. okay. So actually, sorry, before you do that, let me, um, the way that you do this is much different than roll 20 and that's super what I'm used to. Uh, all right. So I've just added you all to combat. Okay. Go ahead and roll initiative. Got it. I got a seven. Oh, <laughs> I think it had 12.16. It was a 17, and then it went to three. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So our order is Nobilis, and then the two creatures, and then Anomio, and then Alessio. So, Nobilis, you are up first. Okay. And you said they're already attacking us, right? Like, they're like they're in attack. They are mode. already attacking. Actually, so, so let me just do this, because just the way things are. I'm going to kind of put you guys back where you were. Um, okay. So that's roughly where you were when we triggered the event. So. All right, let me start some banger music. Boom! I'll warm these nips. I'll warm these nips up. <laughs> <laughs> is there is there like a procedure? Do you have to like rub them clockwise and then? Yeah, it's like a whole like like what like Sailor Moon transformation. I'm just like like do like <gasps> oh, love it. <laughs> just oh, grab them like one amazing. hand at a time. And... All right, as the music so, uh, kicks in. Any anybody in the chat? If the music ends up being too loud, let me know. Um, Still trying to figure that out, and I really want to nail it. Okay, so, uh, Nobilis, what would you like to do? Um, I'm going to step forward just one bit, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, target this closest one to us. Okay. And then I am going to do an Eldritch Blast. Go for it. Yeah. Oof, you guys are rolling are. well tonight. Excellent. <laughs> All right, so you blast it for 11 points of damage, and it takes it. It, uh, any reservation it may have had is now gone. And it <laughs> looks at you and it growls as only a plant can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that laser. <laughs> I'm just picturing right. a fern just like just shaking. Just, <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> <laughs> beautiful. All right. Anything else, uh, Nobles? Um, no, I, I think I think I'm good right now. All right. So up next is our northernmost. Uh, these guys are called moss dogs. So it has a range of 40 feet. So he's going to come charging down at you. Uh, so actually, who did he hear? He heard a Nomeo. So he is going to. Yeah, no problem. He's going to get right down to you. Boom. And he is going to make a bite attack at you, Nobilis. Okay. For, oh. Thank you, I'm Rudy. sorry, not Nobilis. I know me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he's like rude. Like he gets charges him. And he's like, actually, no, it's through you. <laughs> so, <laughs> he like jumps off of me onto you. <laughs> <laughs> so he hits for twenty, um, and he Ouch. does. Uh, so he does four damage, but you also 20? need to make a. Oh, Jesus! Well, okay. his attack was twenty. His attack oh, was twenty. Okay, but he, okay. he did four damage. Yep. Okay. Um, and you need to make a DC thirteen strength saving throw. You can do. Oh. oh no! Oh <laughs> no! Wait, th this group has a real hard time with getting constricted. <laughs> Whoops! I uh, this could be a this could be a long night. I can feel it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, you are grappled and restrained. Yes. So, yes. Let me, I'll uh, I'll just add that to you at some point. No big deal. All right. So anyway, you are grappled and restrained, so you can't move, but you could still do stuff. Cool. Okay. Um. Next is the second moss dog. So he is going to actually, you just hit him, Nobilis, so he's going to run over to you. And he's uh, he's going to make a bite attack at you as well. He is rolling a 15 to attack. Does that hit? Uh, is, is that the What's number in the, in, the, in, in the armor? Okay, I have a 14, so it does hit. You have a 15, so it does hit. Yep, so he also does four damage to you. I'm rolling terrible on my damage, which is probably good for you guys. Luck, luck um, you guys and, yeah. and you need to roll a DC 13 strength saving throw. Um, okay. <laughs> I 
Nice. All right, so you uh, you managed. So he he bites onto you, and these little tendrils come out of his back and try to try to grasp onto you, and you just I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna go with what Zofer said here. Your the battle music is getting your nips hard, and you finish. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how that works, but I like okay. it. Okay. All right. I like the idea that <laughs> Noblis has can hear the battle music. Right. None of us can, but <laughs> he can somehow. It's an internal, <laughs> that, like you know, like beatbox, like jukebox in my head. That was part of his uh, pact with his, his warlock patron. I oh, want to hear battle music <laughs> whenever I'm in a fight. So, <laughs> all right. So, uh, Anomio, you are up. Okay, I got a grapple. So you could make a DC 13 save, straight saving throw to get out of your Let's grapple. do it. All right. No! Oh, oh no. 